What do you think would have happened to us if we'd never met? Oh, we probably would have found someone else. You think? No. Hey, Dad, have the checkup go. Clean bill of health for both of us. Doctor didn't say anything about her memory? I forgot to ask him. <laughs> for two people who still love each other. We've already been through three cords of wood this winter, barely keeping this place warm. And for a man who's still fiercely independent. I was thinking of building us something smaller, more manageable. We don't have the money. The only thing he wants. If I did the work myself, we could afford it. Is to do what's best for her. You absolutely certain you want to do this, old man? Age is just an abstraction, not a straight jacket. Mm -hmm. You definitely need a permit. Why would I need a permit? This is my land. I'll just need to see your plans. I don't have any plans. Well, how are you going to build a house without any plans? The way I've been doing it all my life. Mr. Morrison, there are a number of building code violations. You're telling me that my material is substandard? There is zero leeway on this. Deal with the violations, or I will bulldoze this place. Is that a threat? No, it's the law. When did we become a country of bureaucrats? It's been obvious for a while now that Mom is getting worse. You think I'm not aware of that? That's why I'm building the house. What if I forget everything? You'll still be my Irene. Promise. Never broken a promise to you yet. You understand you're going to have to appear at court? I certainly do. Have you seen the Telegraph Journal yet today? No, oh, why? Well, your father made the front page. I'm worried that our luck's beginning to run out. Do you understand that you could go to jail? Academy Award nominee James Cromwell and Academy Award nominee Jean-Vierre Bougeau. Either I'm going to jail or I'm going home. Still mine. I love you.